So on this one, this is the dump return. So when you let go of the trigger, the water comes back into here. Always remember where this goes is critical as well. So you've got a good force of water pressure coming down this pipe towards here and down. If you wanted to, you could put a pipe onto here and dump it right into the bottom of the tank. Always remember, water coming out, that never goes anywhere near the water coming out. Put it into the other baffle, far enough away from where you're working. Don't put it directly below this point. Same for the ball cock. Yeah, water's dropping from a distance. It causes the wall fall, waterfall effect. You don't want that to happen either. And also, same again for the dump. If you put it into a different area, all M3, the better off you are. So what we've got here is two types of ball cocks. We've also got on the system itself different ways, obviously for different size of tanks. What you've got to remember is the width of the tank that you're using. So when we're using such a 250 water tank, we would use this ball cock system. This part, this can be moved backwards and forwards and altered. So it's a very short type of ball cock. I can also put a hose onto here. On this one, this is a toilet system, normal system that goes into a toilet. Now, you will notice there that the ball size. Now, you, what you've got to remember is if you're buying a 250 litre baffle tank, that all size on that lid is an 18. So what you can do is put a bigger ball on there if you wanted to, and also a bigger ball cup. What you've got to remember is the length of the arm. That's a lot longer, so it can interfere with where you're setting it up with the baffle system inside the tank itself. Yeah, if you do go this with a bigger tank, such as an 800 litre tank, obviously you can go three quarter where this is half inch. Always remember, so this is what normally comes in the system, and what we normally switch it over to is that, so it lets more volume of water through. Now, plastic or brass. Oslot, Gardini, quick release, these work in line and they're the same as that. So that is the Click Connect, available in half inch or three quarters. Always remember that wherever you're putting your water in at, it needs to be a different place to where you're taking it out at. So on a tank normally you've got an outlet make sure you put it into the different baffle area to where the water's been taken out so you'd never want this directly below where your water's been taken out of unless otherwise it will as the water level gets lower and lower the water will drop it will then cause air bubbles you don't want that to happen What we're looking at here is a one inch system to go into a one inch baffle water tank or if you wanted to put in something else you could do. Got the ability here to simply build this system up first of all, connect this into your water tank so it means you're not having to start connecting and joining everything. Now normally I send it all out built up anyway for customers but like I say this is a split union system so if you need to take this off you can do. You're not having to start take everything in bits to build it all together. So that's the one inch at the present moment. That can be three quarts if you needed to. Got a ball cock here, so what we're able to do is isolate the tank, any stage. We've got the inlet here. Now, on that side, same again, Gard Gardner. So that is the click system. This is the Oslock Gard Gardini. Same, same setup. So these go together on the plastic cheap ones or the brass ones. These are far superior quality, half inch or three quarters, horse tails you've got the option of. So what you can simply do is you can connect up to the customer's water supply at this point here. And if you wanted to, you could open all the valves. You can feed the pressure washer if it's a dual feed system. And you can also then fill the water tank up as well. If you wanted to at any stage, what you can simply do is close this point off. Yeah. And you can run off the water in the tank, the level in the water tank would drop down, you'd be feeding 
down to the pressure washer at this point. Frosty weather, leave your water in your tank, open the valve up, open the primer frost valve up, as long as these pipes are running the right way, it will then drain itself off overnight and it's protected. So you can do that as well on this system. So all these three valves can all be closed or opened up as you require to. So like I say, this is for the dual feed system. It can be a single feed system if you wanted to at any stage as well. This can be done in different angles. It can be disconnected and made so it suits you for your needs and everything else. Like I just said before, these are the click. So these work alongside, available in a three quarter hose tail or an half inch hose tail. All this here, stainless steel, so you've no rust and corrosion. Brass on there as well, which means we've got no rust and corrosion on these fittings here. These are three quarters, both them feeds there. And like I say, if you want to, you can simply connect up and go straight through to the pressure washer that side.